This is Leila Torres from origamispirit.com. Today we will be learning how to fold the pre-Columbian frog. We need a 7 by 7 inch piece of paper. For a smaller frog, 3 by 3 will be fine. Start with the color side up and fold it in a half. Fold the lower left corner to the line just created and the other corner make it into a point. Open and repeat on the other side. Turn it over and we're going to bisect this angle by bringing these two mountain folds together. I set the other angle exactly as on the previous side by bringing the two mountain folds together. This um, fold is a mountain at the moment, so we are going to reverse so that we make it into a ballet fold on the white side. Collapse. And now we're going to bring the row border up to the central line. Now we're going to bring this uh, mountain fold to the center bisecting the lower angle. We repeat the actions on the other side. Now we're going to bisect the white area there, the white angle, by bringing the two row borders together. This moment is uh, a 3D, we form like a pocket. Now we're going to collapse this area, making sure that these two borders are parallel. This is the result. Repeat on the left side. And now we are going to bring this folded border to align with that sloping border. In this area there is a slit that uh, f is formed by two row borders that meet together. The next fold will narrow the arm of the frog so as to form a point, but notice that the fold does not follow along the slit. Treat that area as if the slit does not exist. Just disregard it and fold the arm into a point. Collapse it down. It, that little area is uh, visible. It does not, the borders do not meet together there. Bring the arms up. Now we're going to shape them by pre-folding. To taste and then we open an outside reverse fold. Following along the folds that we just made. Repeat. 
Feet on the other side. Now we hide those uh, white triangles, fold them over the edge and hide them inside. Turn it over. The next fold we are going to take as a guide that central point and the lower edge and it's going to be one third of that distance. Now, we take uh, the center of that distance between the arm and the leg and are going to fold the point towards the left. Notice where the point of the leg, the leg falls. There is a central point between the foot and the outside fold. This follows along with the outer edge. Now we unfold back to this step, fold the model in a half and bring the central uh, fold there so that we divide this angle in a half, we bisect the angle and the folded border follows along the one underneath. Now we're going to pleat so that the model is no longer flat, it becomes 3D. Notice that the line on the center is straight. As you fold, you pull a little bit so that that uh, area inside of the legs expands a little bit. Turn it over, refold on the folds that we have created previously, and then create a new fold that connects the corner of the foot with the tail. Now we can, to taste, give some 3D quality to the eyes by inserting our finger or a little tool and shaping it to suggest the eyes. And then the leg, the, the tip of the hand or the front leg can be curled And this is it, we are finished. This is the pre-Columbian frog. For a smaller model, we can use a 3x3 three three inch piece of paper. Thank you, this is Leila Torres from origamispirit.com. Mm.